if you observe the half moon that you see during the first quarter and the half moon that you see during the last quarter you can observe that they both are not the same and if you merge the two together you will actually be seeing that it it is more or less the same features that we see on our full moon which means we are always seeing the same face of the moon okay why should the moon always be showing us the same face why are not we able to see the other side of the moon okay so now to understand this we have a model here now let us uh, understand this concept with the help of the model okay our moon is going around the earth if at all the moon was going around the earth without rotating then at some point of time we would have actually seen the other side of the moon at the same time if at all our moon was going around the earth by rotating very fast about its own axis there was a chance for us to see the other side of the moon but our moon is going around the earth in a manner something like this now let us take our moon around the earth so this is our moon this is our earth now the moon is going around the earth so for a person who is standing on the earth this white part is the part that is always facing towards him and you can see that this black part is never seen by a person standing on the earth okay so whenever we just take the moon around the earth you can observe that it is only this white part that is seen towards the earth okay then you can ask is this moon which is there in our model not rotating okay now let us take the help of an arrow let's take the help of an arrow to clarify this thing okay we shall fix this arrow on to our moon so now we have fixed the arrow on to the moon okay now the arrow head is pointing in this direction now let's move the moon now the moon has covered quarter part of its orbit now you can see the arrow which was now earlier pointing in this direction is now pointing like this in this direction now when the moon comes here you see that the arrow is pointing towards me the direction has changed as the moon moves further in its orbit see the arrow is now pointing towards that direction again when i come back here again the arrow head is pointing in this direction so this arrow was actually pointing like this in the very beginning it went like that came like this and again it has come back like that so actually this arrow has rotated see that happens only when the arrow rotates okay so this moon is also rotating but it is rotating in such a way that see when it completes 1/4 of its revolution with the help of the arrow you can see it has also completed 1/4 of its rotation the arrow was like this now it is like that so when it completes another 1/4 of its rotation revolution it has also rotated by the same amount again as it goes like that it has now covered 3/4 of its orbit and it also rotated around it by the same amount now when it comes back like this it has rotated by 360 degrees as well as revolved by 360 degrees that is actually telling us that it takes the same time to rotate about its axis and also to revolve around the earth which means its rotation period and the revolution period are the same this is what we call as synchronous rotation okay because the rotation period and the revolution period of the moon are nearly the same we always see the same face of the moon 